A proposed law in Colorado is raising new questions this morning about how to punish underage teens who engage in sexting. The measure would downgrade the offense from a felony to a misdemeanor. But some say that could make life worse for juveniles who are caught sexting. Vanita Nair is here to explain why some parents are against the softer pen penalty. Vanita, good morning. Good morning, Dana. Well, a high school sexting scandal in Colorado last year was the catalyst, catalyst for this bill. Prosecutors and police push for legislation to combat what's become commonplace. Juveniles distributing explicit photos. And some worry this new law could turn more youngsters into lawbreakers. You know what we were talking about, right? Sexting? Julie and Will Pilner of Lafayette, Colorado, say their kids have told them sexting is just part of modern teenage life. It's more widespread than I think we'd like to think it is. A new Colorado bill would reduce the penalty for an underage teen who sex, making it a class two misdemeanor for electronically distributing, displaying, publishing, or possessing a sexually explicit image of himself or herself or of another juvenile. Current statutes can consider underage teen sexting a form of child pornography, a felony requiring those convicted to register as sex offenders. This bill proposes a charge that we're going to call misuse of electronic images. It doesn't even carry the title sexting. When this juvenile progresses to adulthood, that case can be sealed from the public. Last year, an anonymous tip led officials at Colorado's Canyon City High School to discover a large-scale sexting scandal. They found hundreds of inappropriate images that had been collected and shared by their students. But prosecutors decided not to file charges. I think this new law is making this issue a lot worse. Assistant Professor Amy Hazanoff is author of Sexting Panic, Rethinking Criminalization, Privacy and Consent. It seems like a good idea. Sexting can technically count as child pornography, but a lot of prosecutors uh, are really hesitant to use child pornography laws against teenagers. I'm concerned that kids might get what, more widely prosecuted because it would be a lesser charge and so people might be w more willing to prosecute. And I don't think that's going to teach anybody the lessons we want them to learn. The proposed bill does offer some additional protections for juveniles. They could defend themselves by proving they took reasonable steps in a timely manner to destroy, delete, or report any explicit images they received. If approved, the new law would go into effect on July 1st. But as you can imagine, there's a lot of debate on this one, and a lot of people are talking about voting. Think back to those days. Where there's a reason we gave kids a certain age that they should vote. Yes. Maybe they shouldn't have this privilege yet. Yes. It also seems like it took the law, or it's taking a lot of time to catch up with technology as it changes everything. Yeah, sure. Right. Thanks, Vanita.